that Ari went to jail for him too. I don't know what's going on. Um, I did my part as a friend. You know, just like I told her when I, I just got off the phone with her. I told her, um, I don't know what you're going to do with your relationship. That has nothing to do with me. I did not tell her to break up with him. I did not say, oh, fuck him or anything like that. Because I know how relationships are. Um, a lot of a lot of relationships, they will get into it. Police will be involved. And they'll still be together. They will still be together. I've seen this shit happen millions of times. They People still be together. People still be together. So just like even in my group chat, I did not say, Oh, she needs to leave him alone because at the end of the day, she's going to do what she want to do. Um, yet it's grown. She's going to do what she want to do. I feel like me being a friend, my only part was to get her out. My part is not to tell her what to do with her life. That's not my business to tell her, oh, fuck him. He put you in jail. Leave his ass right now. I'm not, I'm a real bitch. I'm not about to tell her that. I did not put that in a group chat. I did not tell her that when I talked to her on the phone. All I did was tell her, um, you know, I need you to show up to court because I am the one that bailed her out. I don't know why the fuck K9 thought he bailed her out. I don't know what made him think that. I, I have no clue. Um, the only screenshot that he have showed was a text message with a link he never clicked on the link um he never showed us what's on the other side of the link he never showed us nothing just a screenshot of something that says here go your link i don't know why he thought he bailed her out um because i did i did i don't know why he went live and bashed me and said um Barbie's a liar. I have no idea. Um, my only issue with him is that I told him I'm not, I'm not fucking with him. I don't, apo I don't accept his apology. I told him that because he would, he would, he hurt me. I told her put me on speakerphone so he can hear. I said I don't accept your apology. I am not your woman. I don't have to accept your apology. I'm not fucking you. I don't have no feelings for you. And I don't like what you did. Because whenever they get into it, he messaged me on Instagram. That man did not message me on Instagram. He did not say, oh, Barbie, um, did you really bail her out? He did not say that. He immediately went to the internet like he always does. And he really tried to bash the fuck out of me. But what his dumb ass don't realize is I always have receipts. Boss bitch Barbie always have receipts. I come with receipts. Anything I do, I have receipts on. I know I bailed her out. I saw that money come out of my account. I saw the email from my Bells Bondsman. I signed the fucking shit. It's electronically. I signed it. I signed those papers. I know I did. So I just wish he would have just hit me up on Instagram and said, did you really do it? Uh, before he went live and just started saying Barbie didn't do it, Barbie didn't do it. I really wish he would have did that because I actually fuck with him. I actually fuck with K9. I done seen that boy so many times in real life. I'm not about to get on this app and drag him and say the shit that I would say about him. I'm not about to do that. I'm a grown ass fucking woman. He's a little boy. That's why he goes live and drag people and drag women and just drag anybody. Cause he's a little boy. I'm not about to get on here and talk the shit that I could say about him because he could be talked about as well. Everybody could be talked about as well. Nobody is perfect and he's far from perfect. This man likes men and women. There's a lot of shit that I can say about him. There's a lot of shit that y'all can say about him. But I'm not about to do that because at the end of the day, that is her man. And I'm going to have to have some little respect towards him because that is her man as, at the end of the day. She did not say that they're not together. She didn't say that she moved on. She didn't say none of that. So I'm not about to get on here and bash her man that she lives with. I'm not about to do that. I'm not about to do that. Um, I just don't like the fact that he did not hit me up and ask me, did I do that? I don't like that. He should have just hit me up. 
Barbie, did you do it? Why go live and say I'm a liar? First off, you guys have never caught me in a motherfucking lie. When have Bigo ever caught me in a lie? One lie. When? When have y'all caught me in one lie? I don't lie about shit. I don't lie about shit. Anything come out my motherfucking mouth is the truth. And I be having receipts. I don't lie about nothing. What kind of clout is, hey, I bail her out. What? Why would I lie about that? Why the fuck would I say I bailed somebody out in Diddy? Yeah, that's not the first person I bailed out. And she ain't gonna probably be the last. I did this before. All those stories I be telling y'all about my jail, my jail stories. I've done this before. I bail niggas out. I know how to bail a motherfucker out of jail. I'm far from stupid. I'm far from slow. So why he calling me slow? He the slow one because his ass didn't even know how to do it. He didn't even know how to do it. I understand he apologized. I'm not accepting his apology. What part don't you understand? I'm not accepting his motherfucking apology. I felt he was wrong for what he did. He should never went live and tried to bash me. And, and you're in my family? And you actually know me in real life? Do you guys not know how many times I went over to their fucking house to sit down and talk to them so they could fix their fucking relationship? Do you not know how many times I had a little bit of stress over there? So I feel like the shit that I've put in their relationship for him to go live and bash me. Dude, I can't accept your apology. I've tried to help y'all too many times in y'all relationships too many times. I can't do it. You know, I can't do it. And he damn sure didn't tell y'all that he tried to bail her out with her own credit card. He sure left that the fuck out. He did not go live and say, yeah, y'all, I, I, I tried to bail Yetta out with her own credit card. He didn't tell y'all that. But Yetta just told me that when I got the fuck off the phone with her. She was cussing him out. He was in the car. He picked her up from the, from the jail. And she was cussing him out saying, yeah, you tried to bail me out with my own credit card. Did he tell y'all that? No. So why he trying to act like he this saver type of nigga and trying to get some goddamn viewers and some clout? He sure didn't tell y'all that he tried to bail her out with her own fucking money. He left that out, right, y'all? Right? What kind of shit is that? I'm going to bail you out with your own fucking money. Yetta said just now, she said, I don't know how the fuck you beat us into bailing me out. When I say I call about six Bells Bondsmen to get that girl out, I called about six Bells Bondsmen to get her out. Because I do not have a Nevada ID. I do not have a Nevada ID. I live there, but I do not have a Nevada ID. I call six goddamn Bells Bondsmen who could work with me to get her out. Now, I don't know how I move faster than them. But I called six Bells Bondsmen and I and I made it happen. I did not pick her up. I'm not even in Las, Las Vegas. I'm gone. I'm not even in Las Vegas. I made this shit happen over the fucking phone. I made this shit happen over the goddamn phone because I know what the fuck I'm doing. I did this jail shit before. This is not my first rodeo. I did it before. All I had to do was just keep calling, keep calling. Somebody, some Bells Bond man um, sent me to another Bells Bond man. I, I had to send him all my information. And what K-9 don't know, he couldn't have bailed her out. Let me tell y'all why. K-9 has no property. He has nothing in his name. You need collateral to bail somebody out. Anybody who bails somebody out, you know you need collateral. It's not just money. It's collateral. You need collateral. You need the money and you need collateral. I had to put up collateral to bail her out. It wasn't just no goddamn fucking money. I had.
had to put up collateral. So if she don't fucking go to them damn courts, I'm going to get in trouble. Well, I don't know about where it is where y'all at, but bitch, you need collateral. That motherfucking Bell's Bondsman asked me for collateral. I had to put my goddamn car up. I had to put my car up. Along, along with my goddamn information, my ID, my bank, and my car. I had to send all this information over. I had to send all this information over to the Bells Bondsmen. And then they sent me, um... And then they sent me a um a email. I had I had to sign all this shit. That's why I got so much proof that I did it. I'm the one who got her out. Yeah, when you usually when you bail somebody out, you be needing some type of collateral. Sometimes they want a house. Sometimes they want something. They want usually they want something. I bailed a nigga out before and they wanted some collateral as well. Sometimes, sometimes they be wanting collateral. And they probably really wanted it because I I don't even have a fucking Nevada ID. I don't have a Nevada ID. Maybe that's why they asked, but they asked me for that before when I bailed a nigga out. I bailed two niggas out before. Anybody fuck with me, you going to jail, I could get you out. I could get you out. I don't have to be there. I know exactly what to do. I'm far from stupid. I know exactly what to do. So they took my money and they and and they got collateral my goddamn car. It's just crazy how he went live talking about some she didn't bail her out. No nigga, you didn't. You the liar. When he goes live, y'all should be calling him the fucking liar. You're the fucking liar. Y'all should be telling him you the fucking liar. Bitch, I'm the one with the fucking receipts. She just told me it was me who got her out. And how you gonna try and get credit for bailing somebody out with their own goddamn money? Their own credit card. Who does that? And then go live and be like, yeah, I did it. But you showed and tell everybody you used her car to try and do it. I'm fucking with him. I'm not fucking with him. I'm not fucking with him. He didn't tell y'all that shit. Yeah, now we done caught him in a lie. When y'all gonna catch me in a fucking lie? When y'all gonna catch me in a goddamn lie? I've been on this app two years. When y'all gonna catch me in a lie? Shut up, bitch. TKO ain't sick. TKO, shut the fuck up. And TKO bitch ass went live on me talking about I'm a liar. That motherfucker want me to be a liar so bad because he don't want y'all to know I really was playing in his goddamn ass. He don't want y'all to know I had that nigga legs all the way up to the fucking sky. Legs spread the goddamn motherfucking open. He wanted me all up in that goddamn booty hole. That's why he went live and started talking about me this morning. He wants y'all to think I'm lying so bad. I had that nigga bent over my motherfucking balcony with his legs spread wide open. He was hollering. He was hollering. Talk about, I love you. I met my match. I love you. He want me to be a liar so bad. No, that nigga TKO is motherfucking bisexual to the fucking teeth. That nigga told me he was going to fuck me with another nigga. If I would have felt another nigga that was that was with the business, I was going to fuck TKL with another nigga. I don't lie about shit. I don't lie about nothing. He told me he was with it. I don't need to lie on him. He told me he was with it. He said, who do you got in mind? Those exact fucking words. When I told him I want, I want, I want to fuck him with another nigga. He said, who do you got in mind? I said, I don't know. I said, I don't know shit. I thought you knew some niggas. He was like, nah, I don't know. <laughs> TKO motherfucking bisexual. His ass is in love with me. Why he talking shit about me in the morning talking about I'm lying. Bitch, I don't need to lie on your motherfucking ass. 
I don't need lie on shit. I know y'all believe me, because what the fuck I need to lie about? TKL bisexual than a motherfucker. He like dingling. And he fucking lucky I didn't find the next nigga so we could have had that threesome. I would have more receipts. I would have more receipts. Only receipt I got is when I fucked them in the ass. I put it in my group chat already. Kick anybody out who was talking shit about me this morning. Anybody that was talking shit about me saying I was fucking lying now, you look fucking stupid, bitch. All of y'all look stupid. Yeah, TKO spoke on me this morning while I was asleep. When he talk about me, do y'all go in there and say, you obsessed with Barbie? No. When I talk about him, y'all want to come up in here and say, Barbie obsessed. Well, when that bitch talked about me this morning, did y'all go in there and say, oh, you obsessed? Because he damn sure was talking about me. Take care of this man because I never took his ass serious. I never gave him that money that he won. He mad that I'm the best bitch that ever slid across his goddamn desk. He is pissed off. He is mad. No bitch he ever going to get can do the shit that I can do. And we all know it. Look at the bitches he got. They don't got nothing. Nothing. Not even an old ass 41 year old bitch. Don't even got a goddamn car. That's why he fucking mad at me. He mad, he mad, he mad, he mad, he mad, he mad, he mad. He fucking mad. Talking shit about me, bitch. Talking about, you know, Barbie's a liar. Y'all ain't gonna catch me in a lie. Y'all not gonna catch me in a lie. Y'all not gonna catch me in a lie. Y'all not gonna catch me in a lie about nothing. Because I don't need to lie. <laughs> I don't need to lie about shit. I got so many text messages in my phone. Now I'm gonna just start screenshotting and screenshotting him telling me I love you. Our relationship. But he loved to tell y'all we would never in nothing. I got so many messages of him saying, oh, you, 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 uh, you, you take the comments more than our relationship. I just never claimed his ass. You think that nigga don't want to claim a bitch that got cars and penthouses and making thousands of dollars? It was me. I bet you if I was the one who was going to claim him, he would be saying the same shit like, yeah. I never claimed that bitch because for what? He don't have nothing. TKO don't have nothing. He got some good dingling. That's it. He's very good in bed, but that's all he got to offer. He don't have nothing. This nigga is buying patio furniture instead of inside furniture. I've been finally focusing on myself. Let's see who who had who has upgraded. Since me and him stopped talking, I done furnished my whole goddamn living room. I done started the goddamn boutique. I started the goddamn boutique. I done got my braces on my motherfucking teeth. And I done got this car out here. I done got four things done since I stopped fucking with that bitch. What can he say? What have he accomplished? Some fucking patio furniture? Some patio furniture, bitch? That y'all sit on all the time because y'all need to sit down. Why the fuck you won't get no goddamn fucking inside furniture? I knew y'all wanted to sit down. That's why y'all go outside all the fucking time. Y'all be tired of sitting on them hard ass countertops, bitch. He tired, they tired of sitting on that shit. That's why they go outside and sit on the patio all the time. They been wanting to sit their big asses down. All three of them is big. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. All three of them is big. Armani was not that size when I seen her. Go back on YouTube. I seen Armani. She was not that size. All three of them is big as hell. Three big ass motherfuckers in an empty ass house. I'll roast all of them. I don't give a fuck. I roast all of them. I don't give a fuck. I got time today. They eat out every goddamn day. That motherfucker don't got no goddamn money. Whatever money they gave him from the other app, he damn near almost gone. They eat out every day. Every fucking day. The carpet's still there. The nigga said he moved in there. He said, I'm not going to get my cards out because my priorities, I'd rather get the carpet pulled up. Bitch, when you going to get the carpet pulled up? When? 
Wait! It's still green! Wait! Never! Now he's talking about he gonna go out the country. you rather go out the country than fix, put some shit in the goddamn house? His priorities are fucked up. That's why I never took him serious. I was just fucking on him, give him a little 500 here, a little, uh, maybe a little thousand dollars here. I was just, let me, bitch, do it look like I be giving a fuck about some goddamn motherfucking money? I don't be caring about that little money I be giving his ass. I got a purse full of fucking money on me right now. I just showed y'all my CA. My CA got almost $10,000. I was giving him a little bit of fucking money. Because it was making him happy. A little bit of money here and there. I was the one playing his bitch ass. I was the one said, okay, he, he, he happy with a little $500? Here. Here you go. You little mother, dumb motherfucker. The other niggas got way more money than me. TK Maxi got the least money out of me. I didn't give that. I barely gave that nigga anything. It was a little 500 here, a little thousand dollars here. One time I gave him two thousand dollars. I was doing whatever I wanted with him. Come over, come over. I didn't give a fuck about them goddamn bitches. He ain't lying. That's the only thing I'm gonna say, TK not lying. About that one thing I did say, I don't give a fuck about them. I did it. I did it. If I did, if, if I did, I, I wouldn't be sneaking around with his ass. I wouldn't be cleaning his clothes off, making sure he fucking looked like he never came over my goddamn house. I wouldn't be having him sit down on a couch while I'm scrubbing his goddamn clothes so he it looked like he never came over. I kept it going. I kept it going. I kept it going because I wanted him to keep coming over and keep fucking me. I didn't want the bitches to know his ass was over my goddamn house. I was I was being the best side bitch. The best side bitch or the best sneaky link you could ever fucking think of. I don't give a fuck. He get on my goddamn fucking nerves. I don't give a fuck if he hear why he's fucking talking about me this fucking morning. I don't care if they kicked his ass either. That bitch always um have people kick me out his goddamn motherfucking life. And why he over here talking about he was using me for money? Bitch, you want me to tell y'all some shit what that nigga told me? Oh, he came back. Don't kick him. That motherfucker, why he over here telling y'all he used me for some money and shit? Bitch, and he telling y'all I'm the motherfucking piggy bank. Well, bitch, the piggy bank broke, bitch. I ain't gave your black ass shit. And I know you miss these motherfucking fingers in your goddamn ass, bitch. I know you be watching me and you just think about, Oh, I miss Barbie. She the best bitch I ever had. I miss her. I miss her. Oh, she do everything I tell her and she got money. He got two bitches that don't got no goddamn motherfucking money. I'm the best motherfucker that slid across his desk. And yeah, they, yeah there's a good ass bitch too that slid across his desk. And me, me and TK never got into it. We never argued when we were together. We never argued when we were together. I fuck his, I did whatever the fuck he was saying. Little shit he was saying, I did it. That's why his ass was in love with, was in love with me, bitch. He mad because he can't get nobody like me. I was submissive and I had a bag. Say it again. I don't give a fuck if K9 here. I told K9 on the phone just now. I don't got no bad blood against him. I'm just not fucking with him because of how he did that. I told him. I'm a real bitch. I told him. He really knows me in real life. I don't like the way how he went live talking about I'm a liar. When I got all the proof. And yet it just said I'm the one that bailed her out. He knows I bailed her out. My my motherfucking credit card, my ID and my car. I use my car for collateral. That's how much of a real bitch I am. They asked me, do you got any collateral? Do you own anything? Yes. All of my cars are in my fucking name. So yeah, I'm going to be pissed off a motherfucker is talking about I ain't do something and I'm putting up my goddamn car. 
I just met Yetta. I just met Yetta. And I'm putting up my goddamn car. I had to give them my address and every fucking thing. Now back to poop TKO ass. I got time today. I got time today. I got time today. And of course he want to come in here. Of course he can't want to come over here now. Because you know. uh, Big free willy ass is, is not in a picture right now. So of course he want to slide his ass over here. TKO want, want me to call him so bad. Y'all I could have that boy back at my house. In two seconds. If I was in fucking Vegas. I could have that motherfucking nigga back at my house in two seconds. We all know this. That motherfucker want me so bad. He know I'm the only bitch that could that could make his dreams come true. He knows this. <laughs> I'm the only bitch. He knows this. He's like, fuck. Fuck. Like, come on. I fucking bail somebody out and I'm in I'm somewhere else. I'm not in Vegas. He know it. I'm gonna find I'm gonna find the goddamn motherfucking text messages of when he told me he was gonna have court. I'm gonna show y'all the text messages. I told TKL. Do you want me to get you a lawyer? I'm going to look for those text messages. Because I know it's in the phone. He was like, yeah, it's not looking good. I might have to do some time. I said, fuck that. I'm going to get you a better lawyer. I was going to give him $10,000 to get him a better lawyer. That big, fat, old bitch don't got $10,000 to get him a better fucking lawyer. Nobody he fuck with can do this. Only me. Only me. What did TKL say the last time he went to jail? What he said? Oh, y'all think Armani was the one doing stuff? It was me. I'm the one that was holding the house down. Armani didn't know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. That's why he's mad. He's mad. I know what to do. Your ass go to jail. I'm gonna get your ass out, or I'm gonna, or I'm gonna get your bad lawyer to where I'm gonna knock that felony down to a misdemeanor, and your ass ain't even gonna have to do no motherfucking time. Or if you gotta do time, I can still hold everything down. I can make sure everything is paid for. I can put furniture in a goddamn house. He's a fucking mad. He's mad. He can never get a bitch like me. I know what to do. <laughs> I did this jail shit before. I know what to do. <laughs> Fuck. That's why he's fucking mad. I I don't even want no nigga. And then y'all over here sharing me the live of the new dude on Bigo. I don't want no nigga. And I and I and I heard that the new nigga on Bigo say he from Memphis. Hell no. I'm not fucking with nobody from Memphis. I already already t gave yet an option i told her she could move out put her shit in storage and she could come stay with me if she want to do it she can do it i got a two-bedroom house i told yetta you could see if you can get off the lease leave that house to him and put your shit in storage and you could come stay with me i told her that on the phone and i said we'll find you another place Anybody fuck with me is you good. You don't have to worry about nothing. I told her I'm not getting in that shit. No, I'm not getting in that shit no more. I'm not doing nothing. She is out of jail. She at home. K9 picked her up. I was on the phone when she picked up when when they was in the car together. She was cussing him out because he told y'all he bailed her out and he didn't. And then he didn't tell y'all that he tried to bail her out with her own credit card. How you trying to go live and get viewers and, and want people to praise you. And you trying to bail somebody out with their own credit card. Who does that? Who does that shit? <laughs> I don't know. It's just crazy how he really tried to have y'all think I lied. And y'all was believing it. When are y'all going to realize I don't lie? When are y'all going to believe this shit? When y'all going to realize Barbie don't fucking lie. I don't have no reason to lie about nobody. And definitely about I bail somebody out. TKL lie about everything. Talk about some goddamn money. But I, the screenshot I showed y'all, he said, I know I went back on my words a couple of times about meeting up with you. Yeah, he wasn't fucking me for money all the goddamn time. 
The nigga was kept sneaking over. He kept seeing me. I wouldn't give him shit. And that's when he would say I was playing him. That's when he would say, you, you playing me. I'm seeing you, giving you this time, and you ain't paying me. It been so many times I seen him and ain't gave him nothing. But he wanted to make it seem like it's all about some goddamn money. Like, boy, shut the fuck up. I did penny pinch him. I did. I was penny pinching him. I wasn't giving him what he wanted. First, he wanted forty thousand dollars. First, he said, "Give me forty thousand dollars." I said, "What?" Then he said, "Give me twenty-five thousand. Are you fucking smoking rocks? You don't even know what the fuck to do with forty thousand dollars. Then he said, "All right, give me ten. I still can't see myself giving you ten. You got some good dick, but I'm not giving you ten thousand dollars up front. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not." Then he said, "Okay, give me two thousand dollars." Then I think that's when I gave him the two thousand dollars. Like, oh, I'll give you two. I'm not giving you five. I'm not giving you ten thousand dollars at one time. I'm not giving you twenty five thousand. He told me. He told me Korea gave him twenty thousand dollars. He said she gave me more money than you. She gave me twenty thousand dollars. And it's funny how he said I'm the sugar mama. He told me Korea his sugar mama. He told me that. He told me. He told me that. Listen, I'm about to make y'all understand this shit. Why y'all think every time he would go live and he would say he was in love with her, why y'all think I never got mad? Because he told me she his sugar mama. And I believe he told Armani the same thing. That's why she never got mad when he said it. We, I think me and Armani was playing this game, to be honest. I think me and Armani was just playing the game. Whatever the fuck TK was saying, we were just going along with it. Because that's what he told me. And I believe he told Armani the same shit. That Korea is a sugar mama. I believe he told her the same shit. And that's why she don't get mad when he goes live and say he in love with her. Every time he said he was in love with Korea, I never got mad because he told me she was his sugar mama. So that's why I was like, okay, yes, congratulations. Like, you know, that's why I was always happy because what he told me. And it makes sense. She fucking 41 years old. She 41 years old, desperate. Don't got shit to lose. She could walk away from that little ass studio right now. She ain't got shit to lose. She don't got a car. She don't got a business. She don't got shit. I believed it when he told me that. She was throwing a lot of gifts in the beginning. I believed it. I believe she was in Sugar Mama. That's what he told me. TKO 38. Because she older than him. She 41 and he 38. That's what he told me. That's why I never got pissed off or anything when he would say he was in love with her. I was playing alone. I was just being quiet, being the side bitch, being the fucking sneaky link. I was just playing my position. So, it is what it is. I was playing my position. Forty-two, whatever. I was just playing my position, being quiet. And whenever I see him, I see him and I send him back home. I sent his ass back home to them. <laughs> TK can't play nothing with nobody. Tell him let's play furniture for furniture. My dog would beat him in a furniture bed off. Tell him that then. My damn dog got more furniture than him. The fuck? <laughs> he don't even got a fucking 
fucking bar stool. He don't even have a bar stool.